What if you could download a legal set of Amiga ROMs for under $2? Let me show you how. Hi and welcome to Bytes and Bits. In a previous tutorial, we looked at getting Amiga emulation set up on our PC. And I showed you how to get hold of some legal um, Kickstart ROMs from a company called Cloanto and their Amiga Forever project. Now that started at about $10 or £10. Uh, I went up to about $30 or, or £30. Um, but there is a cheaper way of getting hold of them for under $2. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download those and get them onto your PC. So a big thanks here to Terry Dactylus for pointing this out to me. Um, it's always good to get hold of some reliable legal ROMs and if we can save a bit of money, all the better. So we're basically going to be using Cloanto's Android app, this Amiga Forever's Essential, which is available on the Play Store for, in, in the UK, £1.79, or I think it's $1.99 in the US. Now, um, I did have a few problems getting hold of this. Whenever I first went to the App Store, um, you can see there that it's saying that it wasn't available for any of my devices. Um, it said the, um, the app was written for an older version of Android, which couldn't be downloaded. Now, eventually, as I went through this, it changed its mind and decided that I could do it. But at least this video will show you what to do for both options, where if it does allow you to download it straight away, all fine. If not, then there is a little bit of a workaround using an older phone. Now, this may well have been because I visited the Play Store directly in my web browser on my computer. Um, if you go directly on your phone, perhaps that won't come up. But anyway, um, I ended up having to dig out my old Motorola G6 um, phone and using that, which I think completely vindicates me for holding on to all of my old obsolete so um, hardware. But anyway, um, in this phone then, we are running Android version 7. Uh, and with that, if we go to the Play Store, um, we get access to download this app. So once you've got the ability to buy it, you simply need to purchase it, download it and install it onto your phone. You then need to actually open up the app. And at this point, it will ask you about downloading and updating your files. So you simply need to say yes to that and it will then copy the ROM files down to your phone and it will also save them to two areas. So if you click on the link that says show where the files are stored, you'll see that they are stored both internally for use in the system, but also to one of your external storage areas, which you should be able to then access um, over your PC link. Now, for whatever reason, I was having a particularly bad technology day today. So the files that I needed should have been in this Android folder on my disk drive inside data. And then in a folder in here um, called com dot um, Omega forever. Uh, but that just didn't seem to be there. So I did have to try a different workaround for this. So I did have access to my photos folder on this old phone. So I needed to install a file manager application, which would let me copy the files from the Amiga Forever into that folder. So again, if you go through the system, you can see there in the um, main folder, we found that Android folder again, the data, and there we have our com.amiga forever. And inside there we have a files folder, and inside that are the actual files that we need. So if I go up one folder level, I can just copy that entire file section across by copying it here, moving then across to my DCIM folder and just pasting it in there. So back onto my PC link and navigate through to my um, photos folder. And we can see there the files that we've just copied across from our Amiga Forever. Now, obviously, if you were able to find the files directly in that Android data folder, you'd simply copy them out of there. So I need to take those files and then just paste them. I'm, I'm going to be using FSUAE as my emulator for the Amiga. I just need to use my folder in there, create a new folder inside that area. And inside that, I'm then going to paste these ROM files. And of course, they do come across with a workbench um, disk as well so that we can use. So at this point now, um, we have everything ready to get our FSUAE emulator set up. 
Now, if you do need help getting your Amiga emulator up and running, then do please have a look at my Easy Amiga Emulation video, where I show you completely how to set up FSUAE, get that all up and loaded, and get some games into the system. But from us, we're just going to go here now, and we're going to assume that you've got that all installed, and start importing our ROMs. So using the launcher application in FSUAE, if we go into the main menu and import our Kickstart ROMs, we can just browse for that folder where we saved them. Um, so on mine, I've just put it into my drive A and I've made a folder for all my FSUAE bits and pieces. So ROMs in there and the actual ROM folder itself if we select that and then click the import button, it will find those ROM files that we downloaded. And there we've got six ROM files imported. And from there you can see which systems that we actually have available to us now. So with this um, Android app version, we only get two actual Amigas for, for use, which are the Amiga 500 Plus and the Amiga 1200. Now those two models will give you pretty much everything you want as regards gaming and applications. But if you do need the full set of Amiga ROMs, then you will have to go out to the full Amiga Forever package and buy the Plus Edition, which retails at about £30. So that's pretty much everything set up. So we can, if we want to, then test it out. So we could select an Amiga 1200 model. We could then try and load in the workbench, um, which is the sort of um, Windows system that Amiga uses. Now, so that's in the ADF folder from the files that we downloaded. So if we select that into one of our floppy drives and then start up our Amiga, we should then drop into workbench. And again, you've got the full sort of windowing system um, that you would expect. Now the package also comes with a number of demo packages. So for that we need to um, restart our Amiga, but this time put both the workbench floppy and the demo floppy into our disk drives. And then once we start up our Amiga, we should then find that once we get to workbench, we now have another drive which contains these demos. So there is a readme file on the demos, which will talk you through how to use them. Um, but really all we need to do now is to um, double click any of these demo files and we can start them up and run them. So this first one here is the Juggler. And again, these are the original demo apps that were used at the launch of the Amiga. Um, so we've got the um, Juggler here. And then of course we can go back and run the most famous one of all, which is the Boeing demo. And that is this um, bouncing ball. So if we come there, we do need to send that workbench to the background. And then we can run our app by just clicking on it. And there we have the infamous bouncing Boeing ball. So that's it for this video. Um, hopefully I've shown you now an easy way to get hold of these Kickstart ROMs um, for just a very small outlay. If you've enjoyed this, please do like and subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that notification bell to get updates as to when I release my next videos. I look forward to seeing you again very soon and bye for now. For more games programming, electronics projects and retro gaming, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website.